It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Northern Monk Brewing Company. Take a look at that fantastic label. It's called Attack on Blue Falcon and it's part of their Northern Monk Patrons project. It's number 3.04. It's a blueberry and mosaic black IPA coming in at 7% ABV. And it's brewed, I've Googled it up and I'm just wondering if I've got my facts right on this one. It's James Butler, the tattoo artist. Hope I've got that right. Uh, let's get the can out into a glass and see what we get. The beer oh, was kindly sent to us by beerheroes.com. Check out the link in the description box of the video for beerheroes.com's wonderful online bottle shop website. Look at this. Doesn't that look tremendous? It's got a three to four finger tan colored head. Black IPA. Oh, look how unfiltered that beer is. Can you see that? There you go. Look at all the goodness floating around in that beer. Good levels of carbonation floating off the bottom of the glass there. That looks incredible. I'm looking forward to the blueberry in the beer. Just Northern Monk. It's gonna be, it's gonna be real blueberry. It's gonna be blueberry fruit in a black IP. It's gonna be tremendous. Let's get the aroma. And what's really important for me is the fact that first and foremost it smells like a beer. You get some roasted malt, the hops that are coming through, the mosaic hops that are coming through are just tremendous. A really punchy, hoppy fruit aroma coming through. I say fruit aroma, I don't know, that's, that's crept into my description lately and, and I don't really want to say it about a hop. A hop is not a fruit. I know this blueberry in the beer, maybe that was what was going on in my mind, but... Yeah, okay, there's a little bit of fruit from the blueberry coming through. I, I pass myself, you know, I... Stop being so harsh on myself. But that hop, that mosaic, is just incredible. Really... Orange, peely, grapefruity. It's hard to get a direct description of the or a direct proper 100% feeling of the the, the the mosaic because of the the roasted malt in the beer there's a little bit of touch of coffee and caramel and roasted malt that's going on as well anyway it smells fantastic let's do, enough of the aroma it smells tremendous I could stand and smell the beer all day but let's get on and taste it cheers Stone the Crows, Stone the Crows, what an incredible beer. Yes, blueberry, but just a touch. The blueberry is fantastic. It's just a little inkling of the, of the flavor. Then you have some roasted malt coming through, uh, chocolate, coffee, caramel. Only, again, only a touch, there's a little bit of tobacco smoke coming through, and then it's that mosaic hop. It just really, does. it shines. It shines. And I'm picking up from that mosaic hop, I'm picking up some tangerine. Citrus, lemon, tangerine, orange, orange peel, fleshy blood orange. It's all very orangey for me, that the, 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 the taste of the, the, the hops coming through in the beer. That mosaic hop. And there's a nice balance between sweet and bitter. There's a little bit of sweetness to begin with, goes off to being 
a touch bitter on the back end. This is more about flavour. You get a little bit of bitterness from the roasted malt, you get a little bit of bitterness from the hops, but it is a tremendous, tremendous beer. Carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth. It's just, this is fantastic, absolutely fantastic. Northern Monk really are, they've just, I, I mentioned it in a previous review, look at that. Look at that. So if you've bought this beer, you're new to beer, you've heard some great things about Northern Monk, you've poured the beer out and you see this, don't worry. Don't worry, it's just an unfiltered, unfined beer. Um, that's either a tremendous amount of yeast or a tremendous amount of perhaps blueberry, but I'm going to say... I don't know, maybe, maybe, maybe yeast. I'll demonstrate that there's nothing wrong with the beer. Cheers. That's tremendous. A little bit more blueberry flavour coming through now. Maybe, maybe what happened here was the sediment just floated to the bottom of the can. And what happens is, I find that the sediment just locks in a little bit of flavour. So yeah, you get a little bit more blueberry from the, from the beer when you pour it all out. But what a tremendous beer. Thank you to Beer Heroes for sending me the beer. Thank you for being a channel sponsor for today's video. Incredible, incredible stuff. I'm going to rate it. I like that enough. The mouth feels great. The taste is great. It's a Stone the Crows beer, a fantastic black IPA, a blueberry black IPA. That is unbelievable. Well done to Northern Monk. Um, I, they just did a fantastic job here with the beer. I like that beer enough to give it a full on. It's a full on 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 from Reload Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom and cheers.